So this little clip is from when I was working on the memory expansion, adding the internal 64K to one of my atoms. It's not for the squeamish. If you don't like the dentist, if high-pitched sounds bother you, well, watch it anyways. It's atom content. All right, so I need to remove the memory chips from this system. This is the one I added the expansion to, and I somehow I burnt something out. I think I just destroyed a chip. So I'm removing them. I'm going to put, replace them with sockets. I started with the soldering gun and trying to remove the solder with the solder sucker. But I figured that's going to take forever. So I realized I can just take my Dremel and cut the chips off and then leave the little legs here. And then I can come back in and pull the legs out with the soldering gun. So I'm just going to remove one chip on camera here just so you can see how it works. And I'm wearing my mask because this thing puts out a lot of dust. What I'm doing is I'm going right on top of the legs just to separate them without getting close to the legs. As I zoom in, I'll just to show you close up, you can see I'm not touching the board, not getting near it. That's one side done. Now go to the other side and do the same over here. Again, I'm using the chip as my guide. I'm not freehanding it. I'm not putting any pressure on it. And notice I'm holding the chip. And there we go. Move the chip out. See how it cleaned it right off nice and clean. Legs are still there, didn't touch a trace. Now you just gotta do six more just like it. <laughs> 